I decided to jet. Uh, the weather looks like it's going to turn, and I think I have more in store. So I'll see you guys on the other side. You know where I've never been? Kentucky. So here's a little fun fact about me in case you're new here. Uh, I went to over 300 antique malls last year, okay? Uh, I traveled across the country and back. Surprisingly, one of the only states I didn't hit, uh, well, not one of the only states, but oh my gosh. How can we listen to me with this Anthony McFarland owl behind me? Anyway, um, I never have been to Kentucky, so this is my first antique mall ever in Kentucky. Obviously, uh, I'm right on the border of West Virginia. Well, not obviously, you don't know where I am. I don't know where I am. How could you know where I am? But uh, my list for Kentucky continues down like five hours into the state. So I'm not gonna do it. This is my only stop in Kentucky today before I cross the river into West Virginia and start my way home because I don't drive at night and I have to be back for weekends for pancakes with my boyfriend. That's the rule. So let's go in. I'm at, I'm in Grayson, Kentucky. Very excited to uh, do my first Kentucky antique mall. Let's check out this owl. Well, I beeline to this booth. Um, I just was like, how can I pay attention to anything else with this happening here? Let's check out some of the prices. All right, let's start on this shelf. What is this? Mid-century Millefori, unknown maker, very cool. 75 on that. Is it for the pair or each? I'm assuming each. Yeah, each. Very different. 75 really cool uh what about this little little vase here that's cute 14 amberina that's nice 14 i think i'll get that what's the slash what's the slash mean let's find out what the slash means i don't know what the slash means but in the meantime what's going on here 35 that's cool kind of got a Blanco look to it, although I'm not sure if it is. This too. 35. Whoa, 25. Satin. This is very exciting. 28. Man, this is overwhelming. I like just left that base in the middle of the aisle. I should probably grab it. Let's do it over here while 20 on that. That's gorgeous. Oh, you know what? It might be Kana. I always get Kana mixed up. Kana and uh, Rainbow Glass look similar. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. All right, let me go rescue um, my vase and uh, finish that booth. But also a purple Jack in the Pulpit. Fenton. 95, that's pretty close to what I would get for that. I never see purple Fenton. 30, wow, this is so pretty. These don't sell for as much as I think they do. Yeah, 50 bucks, that's about what I'd get for that after fees, I'm assuming. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. All right, got my blood base. What about down here, the pink opalescent? That's gorgeous, Fenton. Now I'm starting down here. <laughs> Blanco. 55, 57, look at this hobnail set, that's gorgeous, 45, oof, the bird's neat, oh, I'm not so much into the clear though, I haven't had, what's a perfume bottle, that changes things, I haven't had the most luck with clear, but the fact that it's a perfume bottle is pretty neat, Viking bowl, ooh, giant Westmoreland, this is awesome, this that's pretty 22 this looks like Blanco snowman $15 that's not a bad buy but again I'm a little nervous about the clear that's gorgeous that yellow Blanco all right let me get up off the ground this looks like Blanco crackle glass it might not be Ooh, glass mushroom $32. It is signed. All right, 
hold on, let me uh, figure out that signature. 35. Wow, that's cool. Whew, I'm still trying to figure out what that says, but in the meantime, I see this. This is a spendy, but I've never seen it in the red. That quilted is gorgeous. Wow, I really like that. And then up here, black fenton shoe 35. I can do without that. Let me not knock over my vase. How much is this Blanco? I love that Amberina Tangerine. 45, that's a decent price. That one's 135. What about this Fenton? Looks like Fenton at least. 87. And on the green, 139. What about this guy? 45, chip on foot. 85 and 85, okay. I need to like gather myself. These Blanco tumblers are awesome. Whew. Okay, I can do this. Um, let me take my face. All right, I decided I'm gonna start at the beginning, at the well, at the end here, and work my way over. This place is much bigger than I thought it would be. I thought this was gonna be, oh, here's the owl. We have to know. 150, wow, it's amazing. I actually had one of those in gold and it was smaller. I actually got it from Dagny. I thought it was so cool. I got it as a gift. <laughs> well, I gave it as a gift, I should say. The bowls, the cute little plastic bunnies. Oh my gosh, the art glass swan. Love this. A little confused by that. Okay, keep going. For the cat lovers. <laughs> Here we go. For the cat lovers. This is an interesting one. Zebra cat. <laughs> Let's not neglect the skunks. A lot of skunks, $45. Well, let's see what we got here. Got one, two, this one's broken. Three, four. Oh, it's, I don't know if it is broken. Oh, it is, I see. It's supposed to, um, let me stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at 45. I think we're gonna go ahead and get those skunks are really popular and they're getting harder to find. Beautiful Burmese Jack in the Pulpit, hand painted 55. We need this little red glass deer. Eight right, got the deer. Look at that guy, 55. Look at these beautiful. 30, 35, how much is the blue one? 42 beautiful but um uh, more than i'd like to have invested especially because i haven't even made it past the front 54 in the green this one's gorgeous i love the uh optic on that oh my gosh look at this that's gorgeous i love the pink opalescent little creamers 14 Let's see if this does some, something fun. It does. That's awesome. Um, really pretty pink. But wait, there's more. <laughs> um, wow, look at the color on that. And then in here, these are interesting. A pair of aces, $16. They are contemporary, it looks like. This is cool. $12, that looks like, uh, might be Russian. And what's going on over here? It's kind of weird. Different, something about that. $7, it's kind of polished bottom. It's kind of interesting. Something tells me that might be something. Look at the little glass duck. That's great. Whoa. Paperweight, 22. That's crazy. All right. Well, first of all, cats. Set of three, 24. And this weird frog thing. <laughs> uh, that's awesome, even though it's like a probably a Chinese import. I have to know. Ooh, there's a lamp there. Let's 
see if we can just slip our hands in. That's a glower for sure. Let's see. 60. Okay. We can leave that here. That face is really cool. That green one with the pinched. And then got some cats. $35. Very nice. Ooh, another Ambrina vase. 55 though. Crackle glass, crackle glass. Good grief. This is kind of a fun little egg bowl. Okay, but also this. Lot to take in here. 195 on the lights. Those are so cool. Mid-century. Back here. Looks like we have some Viking glass. 19 and 25. This is Kana, I believe. Or no, it's Ellie Smith. I can never I can never get all of those things um straight. Really nice art glass lamp. I got my my uh art glass lamp as on the of the trip I should say. Don't need another one. And over here is some nice here's a five finger, that's at twenty-five. Some milk glass swarms at fifteen. Ten dollars. I actually got one of those the other day. Ten. Okay. Bittersweet compote, but they're forty-five each. Can't do anything with that. Um, the feet are great. <laughs> Another nice. Ooh, carnival glass twenty-two. That's pretty. It's kind of an unusual. It's almost like an olive. I like the looks of this booth. going on here that is very unusual ten dollars it's weird hmm it's not really my thing but I kind of feel obligated to pick it up at that price and over here the funny bear dogs <laughs> that's a cute little planter I've had that one before Epic clown head vase. Oh my gosh. $24. You know what? If that was a little bit less, I would get it. I think it's worth more than $24. But my clown situation has been super hit or miss. It's over here. Nice little five finger. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. I never see that size. 20 bucks. I kind of feel like I want to pick it up. Just because it's so unusual, the size of it. Oh, here's a little Fenton Owl ring holder probably spendy they usually are yeah twenty dollars it's not that bad fenton clear i never see the clear don't have much luck with the clear though i picked up a few pieces of the clear the other day because i thought they were super neat forty dollars for the glass unicorn before you ask and uh they did all right a couple of them didn't do as well as i thought they might fenton 24 what is this it's like a pretty bottle <laughs> i think that's exactly what it is this is unusual it looks contemporary yeah those got me the other day that's so funny new here's a uh another five finger that one's 35 yeah that little purple one is really neat here's a little pilgrim glass i believe jack in the pulpit i got two of those yesterday for 10 bucks a pop thank you very much score 15 i love this little deer oil lamp had that in the past 14 not bad I had I had two I had one do really well and one not do very well so I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave it we got our epic deer of this stuff that little glass deer it's kind of the best just in case we didn't have enough skunks here's some more five dollars uh, they're missing their family and one's got a chip but still oh I got it I already got eight skunks although you can never have too many skunks love the jadeite but those are at 32 a pop on the mugs not the cake stand all right more bluebirds of happiness got a couple yesterday for really good prices 12 not bad at all but, oh 12 yeah decent prices for sure what are these weird cats that are looking at me they're contemporary, but they're great. Mushroom vase. 17. 
more jadeite bases, $30 a pop, I'm assuming. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love these Blendo glasses. These are very similar to the ones that Dawson gave me. The ones Dawson gave me are green though. 25 for the set is awesome if they were for you. For me, honestly, I've sold them before and they've gone really high and I've sold them before and they've gone for pennies. So I'm gonna leave them this time, especially because there's just a teeny bit of wear on the paint. I'm super picky about that. What's happening here? Is it all crafts down here? Let's find out. Flowers and furniture. Either one or something I need today. Oh, but they have those light bulbs I use. I wonder if they have the faux flame one. I don't see it. I love these light bulbs. All right, and as promised, uh, I decided to come back to this booth one last time. I didn't even look in this curio cabinet now that I think about it. Let's see. That's gorgeous. 28 bottle missing its stopper, but still it's so pretty. What about the butter dish? 55. That's a glower. That's really pretty. Look at this rose bowl. 35. Really reasonable prices. Look at this jar. That's really just crazy. worth investigating. $85. I think I'm gonna leave that for sure, but it's really pretty. But I still am kind of thinking about a couple things over here, and I didn't even look at everything. I kind of wanted to. Like, I missed the Tiffany's turquoise. I bet this is Fendi. 75 Yeah, that's gorgeous. I've never even seen one in that color that big. However, this is something I missed. Poodle cigarette lighter. I love that. However, you can't sell white lighters on whatnot, and I have pretty much the best poodle lighter ever. It's a spaghetti poodle lighter. I paid a lot for it. You don't want to know, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that. Let's give this one more glance over. Kana, $18. I still don't know what the little evening in Paris in this box. Oh my gosh. So cute. Oh no, it's separate. Eh, I can do without that. I have some evening in Paris stuff I haven't done anything with yet. Um, still one thing that's kind of troubling me. Oh, look at this. Glass Santa bottle. That's weird. 12 bucks. And I think we might know what it is. It's this mushroom. It's really cool. It's signed. It's spendy at 35 But uh, I think it's worth it. I'm going to take a gamble on it don't think I would lose money on it. I mean, it's a signed art glass mushroom. So I think this will do it for the day or at least for here. What is this cat I seem to have missed? How strange is that? That is one of the weirdest things ever for $10. It's definitely a no brainer. Very strange. It almost looks like pilgrim glass, but it's way more intricate. It's an unusual pose. I'm taking this. I'm attempting to check out, but this vase is kind of bothering me. It's just a good price, 45. Blanco 2020. It's really cool. The cheapest I've seen it is like 59 bucks. I don't know, man. The other thing that still bothers me is this. It's just so pretty. I've never seen it in red before. It's kind of hard to leave behind, but I don't think I could flip it and uh, I don't really need it for myself even though I kind of want it. You know what? I don't want to leave it here. I've never seen it. I'm going to look online really quick. All right, here's the deal. I did some digging and I didn't see it. I've never seen this color and uh, with as many places as I've been for $35, I'm just going to take it. I kind of feel like I want this. It's really special. I spent $162 in there. Of course, 35 of that was really on that Rose Bowl. That's just for me. Uh, I'm going to cross the border back into West Virginia, and uh, it's been fun. I hope to come back here soon. Hopefully, the weather isn't as crappy as it's been, although it looks like the sun's coming out just in time for me to leave, of course, typical. And I'll see you guys later.